check it out our pulled pork sloppy joe style you are going to love eat delicious and lose weight with chef pachi the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place in our instapot a quarter cup of water our thick balsamic and this is a thick thick balsamic that i'm gonna teach you how to make soon this is an amazing recipe with superb ingredients. Two sprigs of rosemary and an inch of ginger. This is it. So you see in the back we have our two pork fillets. To those pork fillets I added three tablespoons of Greek yogurt, half a teaspoon of spices and some pepper. That's it. No salt. I season them like this overnight. You can do them for a couple of hours. You can actually also leave them for about two or three days in the fridge. We mix them a little bit with that seasoning in the bottom and we close our pot. We cook it for 30 minutes at high temperature and that's it. Look at these beautiful pork fillets and check out how easy they come apart. They shred like nothing and look how beautiful and shiny they are, super moist. This moistness comes from the way we cook it, but also from the way we have seasoned it with the yogurt. It makes it really, really moist. Now we're going to take it out and we are going to keep the juices that have come out from the cooking. These are going to help us make our barbecue sauce. So to this liquid, we're going to add two tablespoons of coconut sugar, two teaspoons of Chef Pachi spice mix, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and that's it. Now we mix a little bit, and as it begins to boil, we're going to add the secret ingredient. And it is four tablespoons of Chef Pachi's bell pepper ketchup, which is nothing more than roasted bell peppers, with their skins removed after roasting them and blending them. That's it. We add half a teaspoon of salt and we take our pork back in there. That's it. We mix it and we are ready to savor an amazing, amazing pulled pork. You can make the best sloppy joes in the world. Actually, you can also make double the sauce so you can have some extra barbecue sauce to make. Now we're going to serve it with some pimentos. And you can use pimentos or you can go ahead and roast four red bell peppers, peel them, use one for the sauce or two for the sauce, and keep the other two to serve with the sandwich or with the meal. So you can also serve the pimentos or the roasted bell peppers with some cheese, some of that barbecue sauce, and some pieces of bread and use it as shared finger food. Here we go, I'm preparing in some bread that I make, an open face sandwich with some spice on top, and then a regular sloppy joe, also beautiful spice and with the pimentos. Did you know you can freeze and you can portion them like you would a piece for a sandwich. Freeze them and then have it ready to be used anytime. You can do this recipe once and have about eight or ten sandwiches from one cookie. Shepachi, delicious food, amazing mood. Enjoy Shepachi.